Writing dialogue is not as easy as you think. Heck, it may even be very frustrating. But don't worry, these three levels will help you become a master of writing dialogue in no time. Welcome authors to Next Level Writing. In this video, we will be looking at writing dialogue by breaking up this skill into three achievable levels. By the end, you should know what level you are on and what you need to do to reach the next one until you become a master. Before we begin, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you like this video and want to see more, visit the Next Level Writing website. The link is in the video description. Now, enough chatting. Time to begin our dialogue. People assume that because we speak every day, that writing dialogue should be easy, and that is simply not the case. There are certain rules and structures that you need to know before beginning to write dialogue. And now we come to the levels. The first level is beginner, the second advanced, and the final and third step is master. Here we go. Level one. Beginner. At this level, it is important to know the basics. Here we will look at punctuation, capitalization, vocabulary, and paragraphing using a simple example. For our example phrase, we will use get over here and help me. When we look at punctuation, we introduce quotation marks. Quotation marks come in pairs and enclose the words that have been spoken. Next, we move on to adding a capital letter. All speech starts with capital letters. Now let's look at vocabulary. It is important to identify who is speaking. To do this, you can use the word said if it is regular speech, or the word ask if it is a question. Next, we have paragraphing. And to show this example, we are going to introduce Pim, who will reply to the statement. Because dialogue occurs with multiple characters, it is important to identify when a new person is speaking. This is done by starting a new paragraph when a different person begins to speak. And now for a quick summary. At the beginner level, you should be using speech marks to indicate who is speaking. You should be putting a capital letter at the start of each speech. You should be using said or asked to indicate who is speaking. And for every different person who speaks, you need to begin a new paragraph. Now to level two. Level two, advanced. For the advanced level, you still need to remember the basics but we are going to get a little bit more complex in some of the areas. It is also important to note that in this level, we need to consider the content of the dialogue and whether it is necessary or valuable. For our example in level two advanced, we have added some words from Logan. After he has said, get over here and help me, he then keeps going and says, you promised, before Pim responds. For advanced punctuation, we need to know that preceding and ending speech, you must always have punctuation. This is either a full stop, comma, exclamation point, or a question mark. Now to capitalization. At the basic level, we said that all speech begins with a capital letter. Well, that was only partly true. If, for example, he, Logan, is saying more than one thing, the second part of his speech does not need to be capitalized. Now to vocabulary. There are many, many, many words that can be used to describe how someone is speaking. It is for this reason that at the advanced level, we're using different words than said, like yelled or replied in our example. And now to content. Speech should be used to reveal new bits of information. It is not interesting to hear simple conversation like, hello, how are you? That doesn't help the reader gain any new information. So, when using speech, you should be used to reveal new information that will help the plot or character development. To summarise the advanced level, we know that you need to proceed and end speech with punctuation. There is no capital letter for continued speech. You use other words than said, for example, yelled or whispered, and you use speech to reveal information. Now for the third and final level, master. At the master level, we take everything we learnt at the beginner and advanced levels and we push it even further. Hey, being a master isn't easy, so get ready. Now, back to our example. Now to master punctuation. 
It is important to recognize the opportunities to use exclamation points and question marks, not just full stops or commas. Now to capitalization. Some authors fall into the trap of using capital letters to write entire words to emphasize them. Do not fall into this trap. Realistically, there are only a few times that you should use all capitals to write words. Now to perhaps the most challenging thing about the master level, using vocabulary to show and not tell. Rather than telling the reader how the characters are speaking to each other, it is actually an opportunity for you as the author to provide clues as to what is happening, allowing the reader to establish how these characters may be speaking to each other and keeping them engaged throughout the whole dialogue. Finally, the act of a true master, their ability to evaluate. For our example, let's look at the word no and how Pim has replied and ask, is this really necessary? Rather than saying no, we could continue on with Pim's actions and reveal just how evil Pim is. So much so that rather than even responding to Logan, Pim simply walks away. That is truly a sinister act. To summarise the master level, we use full stops, commas, exclamation points and question marks correctly. We don't use uppercase letters to write entire words unless for a very specific reason. We show, don't tell, and then we evaluate speech by asking, is it necessary? Now that we have looked at all three levels of dialogue, we can see how a simple phrase of get over here and help me can be changed and manipulated to make it quite a sophisticated piece of work. Now that we've finished looking at the levels, I wonder where you sit and what do you need to do to improve as you make your way to becoming a master? And that, my friends, is that, writing dialogue in three levels. As always, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and keep striving to take your writing to the next level.